Duke Morrison, the former WBO heavyweight champion. Ten rounds, this one. Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is ten rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. The judges for this bout are Fred Steinwinder, Chester Como, and Billy Moran. When the bell rings, the man in charge will be Martin Cosimo. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks, weighing in at 228 and one-half pounds. He comes to us from Kansas City, Missouri, with a professional record of 12 wins, three losses, nine of those wins by knockout. Tui, the smoking Samoan Toya. And there is Tui Toya, known as the smoking Samoan. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with red stars. Weighing in at 238 and one half pounds. Comes to us from Kansas City, Missouri with a professional record of 38 wins, two losses, 33 of those wins by knockout. Tommy Badu Morrison. And there he is, the big puncher, Tommy Morrison. And Morrison might just epitomize the big punching white heavyweight because everybody, to a man almost, has accused him of having a glass jaw. But he's got some very good wins on his record, which I'll get to a little bit later. But this one, 10 rounds. And no one, of course, have heard, has heard so far of Tui Toya, the smoking Samoan. But both these men are resident from the same town, Kansas City in Missouri. And Tommy Morrison out to avenge his brother Tim, who was beaten on points by Toya back in 92. In his three losses, the smoking Samoans only been stopped once. And in Morrison's two losses, he's been stopped twice. And you might remember the first time he lost was against Ray Mercer when they uh, contested the vacant WBO title, which was given him by Michael Mora, of course. But prior to that, he had a couple of good wins. He stopped uh, James Tillis in the first, Pinklin Thomas in the first, and then, of course, the Mercer match, and it was a blinding, blistering battle until the fifth round of that beautiful combination of punches from Mercer. And what has happened to him since? He also stopped Joe Hip in nine, but uh, interestingly, he had Hip on the floor, but had to get off the floor himself and suffered a broken jaw against Joe Hip. And last year, stopped Carl Williams in eight. And then I think the big one came when he outpointed George Foreman. WBO title was at stake then, of course. And then that farcical match with Tim Tomaszek, which was originally mooted as a, as a defence of his title. And Tomaszek was dragged out of the crowd to fight Morrison. Had no idea at all when he arrived as a spectator with his wife. And uh, Tomaszek went four rounds with Morrison. And, of course, came that uh, terrible blowout at the hands of Michael Bent, who was subsequently blown out by Herbie Hyde. So, uh, this WBO Heavyweight Championship has not had a very illustrious history. Chucked in the bin by Mora. Mercer beaten by Jesse Ferguson. And I could go on, but I shan't. Morrison now a pro since November of 1988. And Toya turned pro back in July of 89. <laughs> Morrison looking all together. The much bigger man of these two. So it's a good first round then for Tommy Morrison, but uh, not blazing as you would anticipate. Just taking a bit of time here. Once a few rounds under his belt, I'm sure. And of course, Morrison blew a seven and a half million dollar payday when he lost his title to uh, Michael Bent because he should have faced Lennox Lewis.
and uh, those immortal words spoken by Morrison after the bent loss he said and I quote I zigged when I should have zagged 29 years of age Toya or is he from Independence Missouri which is in fact a suburb of Kansas City so uh, still two local men or two men local to each other And in uh, Toya's 12 wins, he stopped nine men. Lost three, of course, as I said before. And that's a good record for Morrison. 38 wins, two losses, and 33 stoppages to his credit. Of course, he does claim distant lineage to uh, John Wayne, hence the nickname The Duke. Certainly looks the part, doesn't he? Also appeared in one of the Rocky films as well. Morrison's only 25 and he says he's still a young fighter. He made a mistake in the bent fight. And I think that's possibly fair enough, but uh, he'll never shake off the idea that he's got a soft chin. And you don't normally see Morrison flicking a double jab. It's normally blood and thunder, isn't it? Every punch is thrown with absolute velocity, designed to take your head off. And these two undoubtedly know each other from old, I would imagine. Only a year in it when they both turned professional, so uh, very good chance they were out of the same gymnasium. Ten seconds to go then in the second. Nice left hook from Morrison. Good shot there, right on the chin. And the smoke in Samoan on the deck. It's within the last five seconds or so of the second round. Round three. So that's a 10-8 round then for Tommy Morrison. Nice shot again for Morrison, right hand. And Toya on the deck again, but the referee, Marta Casino, has ruled that one a slip, rather surprisingly. And again, the left hook just catching Toya over the top of his right glove. And it's worth noting as well that uh, Morrison might not be written off as quickly as you, as we're apt to, in fact, because he actually did have Michael Bent rocking very ominously when he caught him in the only round their fight lasted. Morrison still rated number eight with the independent world boxing rankings. That's probably been fair enough. He's uh, definitely a ten top fighter, a uh, top ten fighter, that's for sure. But there's no trace of uh, Toya, not surprisingly. Past halfway in the third. And still, Tommy's not putting everything behind these punches. Otherwise, I think, don't think that uh, Toy would still be there. And he's gone down now from a right uppercut. But possibly more of accumulation of punches than one single shot there. Although it looked reasonably hurtful. And the smoke in Samoan looks like he's had his uh, fire well and truly doused by 
Tommy the Duke Morrison. So that's a good comeback fight for Morrison. No doubt about that. Good shot too, that right uppercut. Say, so not the hardest punch he's ever thrown. But it did the job. That's the main thing, of course. Watch that again from the reverse angle. Hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, with two minutes and 13 seconds left in round three, the winner by knockout, Tommy. So that's a good comeback for Tommy Morrison. Now, don't forget, we've got Alex Garcia against Joe Hip next. I hope you're going to stay with us.